Okay, so yesterday did not go according to plan because I did not know that was going to happen. So as you guys know, AUT has unexpectedly yesterday delayed the Phase 4 update. I wasn't even expecting for them to update yesterday, but that's why I made the video. But uh, I already cleared it up on the community on why and stuff because they found critical issues. So uh, I hope you guys uh, understand that. But today, I do not know when they're going to update today, but they did say it was rescheduled to today. That's why I'm doing my intro in uh, the old universe, because the game is still closed. I'm hoping it all goes well, because apparently Kerr found critical issues. Even though during the dev podcast, I think they literally said, I think we're ready to release, which is, I don't even know then. So I did get some new information, a lot new. They did at least release the Google Doc. But also, one of the developers in the podcast straight up confirmed. So one of them asked a question on how hard the Luffy quest would be on a scale of 1 to 10. The dev straight up says 100. And we're going to have to do so much to do it. The Griffin quest, they didn't really say much about, but I'm pretty sure it's easier because it's epic. So let's just go over the Google Doc for today and the update. Alright, a Universal Time update log 3.7, summer update, wave 4, final saga of One Piece. Well, okay. New contents and changes. We have three new abilities. Gomu Gomu no Mi, Griffin, and Hido Model Nika. So apparently there's going to be three new ones. And so Gomu is going to be a separate. Yes, Gomu and Nika are two different abilities. So this Gomu, I'm pretty sure it only goes up to gear two. And this Nika goes only up to gear five. And there's going to be Griffin. I was not expecting it to be split. I thought it was going to be like one whole fruit of Nika and the regular stuff. But I guess not. And then new map, of course, Orange Town, accessible from Kuma Teleport. Three new bosses. We have a Shanks boss and a Luffy boss. 30,000 HP, more than Shadow. And the Buggy, Buggy the Clown boss? I was, I don't even know what that's going to be for. Probably just, um, maybe you have to kill him for one of the Luffy or Shanks quests. New NPCs. A lot of them are, a lot of new NPCs. First, we have Rayleigh, obviously. He is at the Orange Town. He gives the hockey progression system and hockey color rerolls. We have the agent. He gives you the observe. Oh my bad. Armin hockey, Buso Shoko hockey request. It does not tell you. They don't secret location. Uh, Luffy located at Orange Town gives you the gear two quest, but you need, you must have Ascension two or more on Go Mobility to accept gear two. Well, luckily it's two times XP weekend, so we're lucky right there. So you must have Ascension 2, and then you can have the Gear 2. And if you're wondering how to get the Gomu fruit, well, right over here, Shanks. He will give you the quest for Gomu Gomu no Mi, located also at Orange Town. Conqueror's Shanks, also located at Orange Town, but angrier Shanks, basically, provides you the Griffin quest. So I'm going to probably be going for a Griffin first. Murray Masa gives you Observation Hockey. Don't know where it is. Mystery. Babylon. Bobbling? I don't even know. No location revealed. Gives you Conqueror's Hockey. Okay. And then, of course, Epic Flowers Alter Ego. No location reveals. But gives you the Hero Hero No Mi quest. Okay, first new ability, Gomu Gomu No Mi. These are some more sneaks of it. You have that big fist and everything. Transformation, second gear. There are actually three methods to gain this. So path one is talk to the Shanks NPC. And, of course, do the quest. Path 2, find it randomly on the ground. Path 3, get it from Whitebeard. So yeah, Gomu is going to be the easiest to get out of this entire update. Now gear 2, you must achieve Ascension rank 2. And uh, with the Gomu ability, okay, speak to the Luffy NPC and then you can get it. You can get the quest and you will automatically unlock to gear 2 mode after you uh, upon completion. Next up, we have Griffin. These are some more leaks, so apparently I think we have a... Uh, is that part of the pose? I don't know. We see Yasop right there. That looks awesome. So, obtainment methods. Speak to the Conqueror Shanks. Look at Orange Town. Accept his quest. Upon completion, you will receive the Griffin. So, it's basically pretty simple, but that's why I'm going for Griffin first. Get it easier done now. The hardest one, Hiro Mado Nika. Hiro Hiro no Mi. So, obtainment methods, only one obtainment method. You need to go find the location. We don't know, I don't know where it is right now. Accept his endeavor upon completion. You will receive the fruit, eat it, and you will receive it, pretty much. So, that is pretty much how to get all these new abilities, but I have no idea where the hero is located at, where the quest giver's at. I will try. 
It's going to be me and my friend. We're going to try to speed run that. New hockey system. So the uh, freaking armament hockey is going to basically... It will bypass the low gear reflex, but also it will... Let's see. Enhances the user's base damage and defense. You also deal additional damage to boss when this mode is active. Um, and they also did say that it's a limit. You can only use it for a limited time. You can't use it forever. Talk to the agent located at blank. Accept his quest. You will receive it after you finish. All right, Ken Hockey. Pretty much, you can allows you to see the approximate values of the health, heat stats of anyone within appropriate. Okay, of your user. You also receive enhanced M one speed. So you're pretty much much faster. Uh, with this Ken Hockey. Conqueror's Hockey, when triggered, sends out a shockwave, a, applies a soft ragdoll to anyone who is, uh, who isn't in your party. Okay. Well, sadly, there's no hockey clashing, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Obtainment, you just have to talk to him, do the quest, and there you go. It's important that only certain abilities, these are the only abilities, remember, all One Piece abilities can inherit hockey, no other abilities, so don't think Star Platinum or the world is going to inherit it. No types of hockey exclude from any ability, meaning all abilities are above are enabled to inherit all three. Okay, so apparently all abilities above are supposed to be able to inherit it, even though it should only be, the only ones that actually should be able to inherit it, it would be four of them. Since it's going to be Nika, Griffin, Gomu, and Mero. Those are the only ones that should, but I guess not. This is the hockey stage progression system. This is what it looks like. So, yeah, you're going to have to get it from Rayleigh, and this is what it would look like. You can recall roll colors and upgrade stage. The max stage will be five. So these are hockey points and hockey manuals. How to obtain it, you can get them through loot crates. I'm a little confused with all this stuff, but I can better explain whenever the update's out. Hockey stages, you can have these hockey shards right here. You get them through loot crates. Should be pretty simple. Maximum stages is five right there. So then next up, hockey color re-rolling. You pretty much just use your IU uh, points for that one and get it from Rayleigh. It does not, though, um, re-rolling the arm and hockey color does not affect your Ken or your um, Conquerors. So it will not change the colors. So some new stuff, kill effects. Yes, we have kill effects. These are some, uh, that one right there, unobtainable from old universe. A lot of other kill effects coming. There's going to be a whole new tab in your inventory too. As we go down, these are all the kill effects for now. There's a mythical rarity, only two of them. Looks awesome. New shutdown system. Contingency. Prevents losing bosses when servers shut down. Okay. So you're able to receive the items used. Okay, so pretty much if you... A game shuts down and you have a cursed gemstone and you didn't finish, then you'll get it back. That's that's a really good one. New daily quests, uh, you can get... There's pretty much 33.33. You can get skin crates, random obtainable mount. Or for a chance for two epic or below kill effects. That's nice. Okay, new dynamic shop review. And now, premium shop. This is what excited me the most. We have a Yoru, guys. I dreamed of the day. I always thought they were going to have Yoru for Dawn because it's a big sword. But instead of doing it for Griffin, so I might spend money to get that. We have Average AUT Player, Opay Limited, including Hunter for Yone. That I'm not a big Yone guy anymore, so that's going to be lame. New Mount Skins. We have the Oppressor, Legendary Hoverboard. We have a... Oh, yes. Mihawk's Coffin Boat. I probably should buy that too, the Coffin Boat. AUT cart and the Tesseract. I did that. I did um a leaks video on that too. Uh, I'm not really looking at any much changes. Pretty much, this is all the stuff you guys need to know about the new update. Absolutely insane. So let's get back into the games. Okay, so that is everything that I know currently about the new AUT update. I just checked the Discord. Still very quiet. No new announcements or anything. But they did say it was rescheduled to tomorrow, meaning today. So I'm hoping there's no delay again because that's going to really, that's going to piss everyone off and kill us all. Um, I did grind. I was preparing. I got up to a million U shards in AUT just to, you know, be prepared. I guess we don't need them because they're not really in the banner, but I guess I'll just use it to get shards so I can level them up quicker. 
Um, so the first video you guys can expect from me is either from Gomu or Griffin. Do not expect Nika. Okay, me and my friend, I'm gonna go for a Griffin first. My buddy's gonna go for Nika. So, like, we don't even know if you're gonna need the Gomu. We're gonna probably need Gomu for the Nika quest. So, you might see me get with Gomu first or Griffin. It's either one of those. We're gonna try our best to actually go. It's just gonna be two of us in the private server. No, I'm not gonna give the private server code out. It's just us two, you guys. I'm sorry. This is currently all I know. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're trying to reach 5,000 subs. Also, reaching 5,000 subs, I can be a YouTuber in the AUT Discord server. So, make sure you guys uh, subscribe to get me there. Without further ado, I will see you guys at the Phase 4 Summer Update.